Right, here's a demonstration about how post-processing effects can significantly reduce the amount of frames you get from Parsec. So this is a game called Grid um, Autosport, which came out in like 2014 or something. Running on an AWS server in Sydney. Um, I'm in Auckland, so it's about 1,300 miles away. Um, and the frame rate in-game is looking to be about 85 frames per second. So I've got two little ones up there. One of them you can't see, which is the Steam internal um, FPS counter, and then the one on the left is the external FPS counter. That's the one. That's the amount of frames that I'm getting from Parsec across the internet to my local uh, PC. Um, okay, so what's happening here is I've got this game on Ultra, um, and it's just not running that well. Um, you know, and you would think, well, it's because you got your graphics up too high. You need to turn them down. Um, the GPU is just not up to speed. But so I'm running an Ultra, and I'm running it at 1080p. And let me just show you that um, it's actually post-processing effects that have the biggest impact on the amount of frames that Parsec can get to you. So let's just go turn off shader quality. So shader quality is one of those things where it's doing, you can see it as it changes. It's, it's, it's overlaying kind of filters and coloring and grading over top, and film grain over top of the actual gameplay to make it look you know, prettier and more filmatic and just kind of nicer. But as you can see, the amount of frames I'm actually getting on the left now is significantly increased. So if I uh, go back and try play a game again, you hopefully you're about to see through this uh, video I'm making that the gameplay is significantly smoother, and this really impacts the ability, the playability of the game. I mean, we're getting over 80 frames a second over the internet, 1,300 miles away. So that's really amazing, um, and and really improves it. I mean, I'm terrible at the game, but as you can see, it's when you press a button, everything just happens. It's buttery smooth. It almost feels like it feels like you are native. So if you've got a game that isn't really performing as well as you would hope it would, um, you know you've got you're either playing remotely or you're playing on one of the cloud servers. I would really recommend um, disabling any post processing. So that's effects like film grain, lens flares, um, anti-aliasing, anything that really is an overlay on top of the screen. So. Um, any, I would disable that and it's going to significantly improve your experience. Um, for a small drop in image quality, that's, that's you know, no big deal. So yeah, enjoy.